Hello Zebraherd! Today we are adventuring through the brand new game, LEGO Fortnite. This is a crossover I never expected, but so far is a ton of fun. This is just the first episode of our series where we'll be crafting, surviving, and exploring this whole new world. So with that being said, let's get started with LEGO Fortnite. Whoa, so it's normal Fortnite right now. We're being chased. Uh-oh, whoa, what is that? We just went into a portal. And <laughs> there's Lego sheep. And we're Lego now. <laughs> That's so cool. So we're just in a Lego world now. Whoa. Oh, but a train. I guess we could uh, find a Lego umbrella. Whoa, big fort. It's not looking so good in here. But hey, a crafting bench. With a little bit of time and effort, looks like we might be able to make whatever we want. <laughs> Just knocking down a very normal, not Lego tree. So it looks like the characters are Lego, but not everything in the world is Lego. Hey, you can see we're building this like cool little house here. Fencing in all the sheep, growing some crops. So I guess this is supposed to be more of like a survival game mode, like Minecraft. Whoa. Oh, hey, banana friend. Uh-oh. Are there monsters too? Gotta forge some weapons. Whoa, run. Oh, we're sad. Let's get out of here, that thing is terrifying. Whoa, we can craft a little community. There's so many people here. This is so awesome. Whoa. We can hop on this little aircraft with our friends and go on new adventures. I really like this. As someone who's not played much of Fortnite, this looks really cool. It seems to combine Lego, Minecraft, and Fortnite into this like one huge adventure. Whoa, can we explore caves too? Seems like it. Oh, there's creepy spiders in here. There's skeletons working in here. Oh no. <laughs> Scary. What is that thing? Uh oh. Alrighty to fight. <laughs> Whoa, so we're hopping in to this brand new world. This looks so cool. Whoa, hey, who are you? You're the person we saw in the cutscene. So can I just talk to you? I guess so. Whoa, okay, here we go. Talk to Bright Bomber. Ah, where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Wait, I know that last one. My name's Bright Bomber. Nice to meet you. And you're Zebra? The Zebra Gamer and Mr. Zebra Gamer were both taken. So this is my last choice for a username. Why does that sound familiar? I've never fallen into a brand new place like this before, but I'm glad we fell together. It could be dangerous out there. We should prepare ourselves just in case. Prepare? Aww. Seems like there is a lot of wood and granite around here. Aww. I wonder what we can make with them. Huh. Well, I guess we could start digging around. <laughs> Great to see you. No doubt, no doubt you're on an exciting adventure. Is there something I can help with? How else should we prepare? Aww. Seems like there's a lot of wood and granite around here. Okay, so. I guess we should try that. Do I just punch? Oh, well, I guess we'll we'll try this like Minecraft, right? I'll run up to a tree and I can, ow, try to punch it, but that doesn't really do much. But I can build, no recipes known. Like I said, I really don't know how to play Fortnite, so we can collect a raspberry here. There we go. But I can't just like punch the trees, so maybe I can punch this, whoa, and we get some, some wood over here. I can build a campfire. I also get some vines and stuff. That could be helpful. Oh, hey, what's up? I feel like those resources are going to come in handy. The sun is going to go down soon. A campfire would keep us warm and safe. Uh, how do I do that? Open your build menu and find what you want to build. You can build anything you can imagine, as long as you have the bricks. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff. We even have a raspberry we can eat. Um, this seems to be like a full on survival game like Minecraft in that way. So we have this right here, the campfire. We need one more piece of wood and I still can't Oh no, I didn't want to eat that. Okay, well, I'll actually give me some health back, so I'm fine with that. So yeah, I can't just hit this tree. 
I'm trying, it's not really working for me. So we'll keep attacking bushes and stuff like that. That'll give me some vines and some wood. And then we also have the raspberries we can collect. There we go, there's a lot of raspberries actually. So we can keep nice and fed for a good long while. Very cool. So I will grab some more wood just off the floor like this. And then maybe, I do see those rocks over there. Maybe I could just collect these. Oh yeah, this is the granite I can get. That makes a lot of sense. Whoa, a spider. Uh oh, not good. Punch the spider. <laughs> We're fighting. Ready, boom, gotcha. Then we can get this. It sort of reminds me of a game I used to play called Lyco Worlds, but this one definitely a lot more survival focused than that game was. That was more, whoa, scary. It's a giant evil, it's chasing the chickens. No, leave them alone. I can't save you right now. I need to get stronger first. Oh, more spiders popping up. Did the spiders drop anything? I think it dropped like a spider web. Ready, boom, got it. And yeah, we got some silk. Very cool, so I'll grab some more wood over here. We should build that campfire fast because, oh my gosh, that wolf is over there. And also, you know, the, the things are going gonna go down soon, I, I feel like. I don't know what happened to our friend. Um, They were over here somewhere. Gonna build this campfire right here. Please don't come over here. Uh, Where did Bright Bomber go? Oh, there's some cows over there too. We can also build a crafting bench. That seems like a good idea. I'm hungry. Okay, well I can solve that. We got like a billion berries. So it looks like on the top left there you can see our hunger meter. It's that circle. Oh, there you are. Um, and then we also have like a cool and warm temperature meter as well as our health. So, good day. That snack looked tasty, but adventuring requires lots of energy. I would cook if I knew how. I should have taken Beef Boss's cooking class when I had the chance. I'm worried about the rain. Maybe we need a shelter? You can build a simple shack from your build menu in the builds category. I need more wood. If you need more wood, there are small trees we can hit and collect resources yeah. from them. There's also a lot of wood on the ground and bushes you can break for wooden fiber. Okay, so, wait a minute, I didn't mean to do that, I meant to, oh no. Pick up this granite over here, and then over here some more granite to grab. Excellent, that's gonna be really helpful. So I can also cook food, apparently. Uh, I'm not sure how, but um, I guess for right now, stations, and I can put this workstation right there. Build a crafting bench in survival world, quest completed, awesome. So we can go over here and we can have a couple of things. We have the forest ax, a basic stone ax, perfect for harvesting trees and for self-defense. For this, I need more wood, and then a pickaxe. A basic pickaxe made from wood can harvest stone objects and is very effective against structures. So let's try to build that. To do that, wait, no, can I still hit this one? This one's smaller, so I can actually just punch this one down. Awesome, there we go. So let's get back over here and, oh, I can talk to you. Our, uh, any reality you're in is a great one. Seeing the crafting bench gave me so many ideas for new inventions, like tools. I'm worried about the rain. If we, we need a shelter, you can build a simple shack from your build menu in the builds category. I'm on it. Okay, so for right now, what I think would be best is if I can get just a little bit more wood from something, even if it is just like this bush. Before the sun goes down, I'm getting a little bit scared about that. There we go. Can also collect some more raspberries. Now we should be able to grab an ax or build one, the forest ax. So I hold F to craft, putting that together, and boom, we got it. So that should be in my menu. It looks like it has a durability now too. So I have to keep that in mind, but trees like this, no problem now. So we can knock this down without any much of an issue. Very cool, can I knock out the stump too? There we go. Get the stump out here, really try to clear this area out. But you can see a lot of stuff in the distance too. I see like a, a building over there. Another like dilapidated house over in that direction. So we'll definitely have to do some exploring around. Oh, I didn't actually knock down the actual log part. <laughs> Let me do that now. Although that was more of just like a visual effect than it was like an actual thing I can also work on. This is so cool. I'm having a lot of fun with this already. So we'll pick up all that wood and I think that'll be enough to build a structure. Can I knock these over too? I don't know if I should though. Okay. Whoa, whoa, I hear a monster. That wolf is still over there. I don't like it. Uh, but we do have a lumber mill, a grill. But over here, we have our starter shacks, the simple shack. Okay, I need six wood. I have 17, so I can afford it and I will put it right there. And then I can start the build. We need two of these, these shack pillars. Okay, so I put one, I guess, here, how do I rotate? Like this, so I have to build it myself. Very cool. Uh, there, and then another one right over here, it seems, if I can, there. And if I go where to, I guess, not exit build mode, I wasn't done. Um, How do I continue? I don't know. Uh, 
I don't see a button on the screen for it. Oh, here we go, remaining parts. Okay, so this seems good, and then we just need the floor. So just press Q to go back into build mode. There we go, so stage one on the three complete. How do I do the rest of it? Okay, we have this wall over here, and I don't know where this goes. Uh, wherever I want it to, I suppose? It's a shack half wall. Oh, up there, got it. And then this little roof before it starts raining too much more, we don't wanna get sick out here in the rain. So there we go, stage complete. So could I like maybe move some of this stuff? I don't know. Um. Oh wait, there's one more piece remaining. Hold on, hold on, sorry about that. Uh, start build, get this piece, put it up there somehow, if I can. A little tricky to do that. It like sort of was green for a second. There, maybe? How do I reach out? Oh, like this, got it, okay. I'm figuring things out as we go. We'll get the simple shack and now we can talk to Bright Bomber again. Swell to see you, Zebra. This shelter will be perfect for protecting us from weather and any enemies that might be around. Do you think we are the only people who rifted here? I can't imagine we are. Maybe we should build something like a village square to attract nearby friends. That'd be cool. That wolf is way over there, I'm really scared. But uh, it looks like we need to build some more things. We get some more recipes, which is really nice. Um, I get some more food here too, which is great because we are getting a little bit hungrier. But can I cook? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, there's a chicken here too. I, don't, I hate to do this to you, chicken, but I might need to see if you have some food for me. It looks like you do, a feather and some meat. Um, but let's see, I can't use this in the rain, really? So the rain is pretty, but it's making me cold. Glad I have my torch to keep me warm. Anyway, is there something I can help with? Uh, how should we prepare? Okay, so it looks like they just want us to build this village square. So I guess in the rain we get colder, but luckily for us, we're by this fire, we can stay nice and warm. If we build some more stuff, we have the sawmill here, which builds objects like planks and rods to use for crafting. We have the grill, turn raw ingredients into food, used for healing and reducing hunger. For that, we need a lot more granite. And then we also have the village square, establishes a village in the surrounding area. Okay, so that's really good. I think for that though, of course, I should work on getting this. I wish I could move this. I mean, maybe if I just beat it up and get the materials back, I can build it under the shack so we can actually continue to use it. I'm glad the rain's not getting rid of the fire, though. This isn't seemingly doing anything. Okay, I'll leave it there. That's what I'm a little bit worried about. I can run out here, of course, and I can grab some of this. This woof is like all over the place, we are cold. Okay, let me just grab some some wood really quickly. I just hope that you don't attack me because you are going on a rampage out there. And I'm sure I'll, I'll want to go out there and save the day soon enough, but for right now, what do we have? <laughs> this is all the feather and stuff from you eating everybody. I don't appreciate it. So we do have a backpack here that's pretty filled up. We gotta run back over here. Oh, this is so scary. Um, here. Get some of that. I'm back to being cold again. I need some granite really quickly. So let's just warm up super fast. And then, I still can't use this in the rain. That gets really complicated. Should I just build another one? Do I have the materials for that? I don't have enough granite. So running into a little bit of a situation here. There's gotta be more granite on the ground somewhere that I can just snag super quick. There we go. I see some more stuff I can just eat up. I know I'm cold, don't worry about it. We'll be okay sometimes, you know, risk and reward, right? We just gotta go out here. Wow, there's a lot more monsters out there. I'm sure we'll get stronger to the point where we can take on monsters soon enough, but we gotta keep things simple for now. Okay, I'm really starting to get cold. I'm taking damage from how cold we are. So just wanna grab whatever I can and then head back in this direction. Cause it's not letting me move this or anything. Like I'm holding different buttons. I don't see any prompt on the screen that says I can do anything. So I feel like I should just build another one here. Cause I don't know how long it's gonna rain for. Um, so I can afford another one. Put it right there. Use crafting bench. I wanna build this pickaxe. 16 wood is all I needed, so we can put that together. Now I should be able to destroy some different rocks. But I can also make a torch, awesome. So, I can make three torches, create slate and a small amount of warmth. Helpful for exploring caves. And this one we need wood and vines, I got it. Awesome, so with those th three things combined, we're becoming a proper explorer. I think I'm gonna put this up here, put the berries on that side. And now we should be good to run around a bit more. Oh, it's interesting that the food is sort of like it's, whoa, own inventory slot. So I guess I can put that down to stay warm, right? Does that work? I don't know if that, that actually worked. 
Um, just gonna knock out this rock though and get a bunch of granite out of it. Actually, yeah, huge amount right now. That's really, really useful. Get back over by the warmth and uh, I'm back to being cold over here though, so that's really not the best situation. I need to build some other stuff though, if possible. So, this is why I need more wood and granite. We're almost there then, but I feel like I should eat. So, we'll eat up some of our berries. Get back to it. Luckily, I don't know what happened to that wolf, but it looks like it's gone. I'm gonna knock this out really quickly. There we go. We got a lot of wood from that one, and I'll collect some granite over this way. I needed a good chunk of it. I know I'm taking some more cold damage, but luckily we have a lot of health to spare. I think we'll be okay. I'll grab that over here. More of the same. Whoa, hey, hey, little spider, get out of here. Probably don't wanna fight with too much more than my fist for the time being, just because of the durability situation. I'll grab some more food, because we're running a little low on berries. Can definitely get all this without an issue. There you go. Some more berries. I'm getting a little addicted to just grabbing things everywhere. So we'll just get what we need and run all the way back. Much better. And it looks like you're ready to talk. Hi, are you from the island too, Zebra? <laughs> that pickaxe reminds me of a harvesting tool I used to have. Oh. A stronger tool that will last longer and break even more things. Um, I'm on it. So it looks like I need shells. Uh, whenever I'm stuck, I use my imagination to figure out, figure it out, like this. We need shells, and rollers have those big shells of theirs, which means we need to find a roller. What is a roller? I guess it's a different type of enemy. Anyways, we should be in a good enough spot where I can maybe build one of these village squares, and that'll just keep this whole area protected. Awesome, so village square, boom, right here. Zebra's village, I guess I will yeah, I can choose like different things. Let's just choose the little thing right there. I'll choose my favorite color, this green color. Confirm. Awesome, so we got more recipes here now too. We have a map marker, marks location on the map. That would be really useful. We only need a couple bits of granite for that too, so I can do that and just make that the home. Keep it green again. So this is our green, green home base. We can see it, I guess, on the map if we weren't also on top of it. Very cool. Interesting, so I guess I could also invite different people to the world, but for right now I wanna keep it solo. Great to see you, no doubt you're on an exciting adventure. <laughs> I bet this village square will attract friends looking for a safe place to rest at night. I wish we had some beds. Beds are a good spot to wake up, especially after sleeping. And if you make a few of them, you can invite a friend to stay in your village. Interesting. So it's sort of like Terraria, unless it means like real life friends and not video game with characters. Ooh, the sun's coming up. We finally survived the night, that's awesome. Whoa, what is that? Whoa, uh, come back. What is that thing? It's so pretty. Uh, gotta use up all my, my energy. I'm low on energy now, not good. Can I get to you? You're a quick one. The spiders are chasing me. What are you leading me to? I'm cold out here. I don't know if I can catch you in time. I feel like this might be a big trap. Uh, oh, oh, um, I, I don't think that's a good idea anymore. I'm sorry, whatever that is. Went the way, oh no, oh no, scary, scary. I don't think I can handle this, I'm out of here. Wait, where's home? Home's over that way. You can see the big uh, smokestack to sort of signify it's home. Not oh, good. I don't know what that mysterious thing was. We had all these spiders chasing us now, though. Not oh, good. Okay, let's let's fight some of them off if I can. I gotta be careful because this axe is almost out of durability, but I got two for one there right with the last swing of it. So I'll craft another one here in just a moment, but man, this is so crazy. There's just so much going on in the game. Uh, I'll get that wood. There we go. I'll save the, the bigger things for when we have the tool back. That's definitely why it's good to craft better gear. So our upgrade is available for our thing. How do we do that? View village upgrades. Huh, the village hub and then the upgrade village. Let's see the village hub first. Uh, Zebra's village is level one. So we have upgrade level rewards. We have cozy charm, villagers equip a health charm. Friendly visitors, friendly explorers will visit the village, and a growing village. An additional village can live at this village. Do I choose one of these, or do I get all three? I think I get all three. So, how do I move to the next thing? I guess I gotta keep going? Upgrade village. Use village points and materials to upgrade your village. Upgrading your village can increase village capacity, add useful perks, and unlock new recipes for builds in the future. So requirements are right now, increase your village rating by adding to your village. Um, we need to get more wood, a wood commonly found in grasslands, and then granite, 
Interesting, so if I get more materials, I guess I get this level up. So I'm not quite ready to do that, as far as I can tell. Um, but we can get that done, no problem. All I have to do is get over here and build another forest axe, craft that really quickly. And then I can upgrade this bench if I wanted to, but I feel like I'd want to upgrade the bench that I can actually use during the rainy times. I'll have to figure out how to pick things up. But for right now, I just want to go ahead and get a little bit more wood and granite, but that's the best idea for now. Can I hit two at once? If I just like angle myself just right? Not quite. We are hungry though, so I think that we need to build some new stuff soon. If I can build that grill so we can make even tastier food. All right, yeah, pick all this up. This is so exciting though. Very, very cool. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this raspberry and then head over here. Got it, so we'll knock this down a little bit. And this game is definitely a lot more by pace than like normal Fortnite. <laughs> that is for sure. Okay, we got a lot of granite here. We'll grab this, and I think I saw, yeah, pumpkins over here. Whoa, they just weren't here yesterday, were they? I don't think so. Whoa, wait, I didn't get pumpkins out of that. No, I did, I did. So, collect pumpkin. Grab that one. Go back to this. So we're just gonna spend as much of this early morning time gathering materials as possible. I see some more pumpkins, more raspberries. But I think we could also use more granite more than anything at the moment. So if I could just run back here and... Uh... Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There we go. Making good progress with this one. I do need to eat up food soon because we are just about out of hunger. Very cool. Okay. Getting back out of here. What do I need for the upgrade? I should have everything, right? If I go to the upgrade village, I have everything. So we can upgrade it and we can get a lot of level rewards. We have forges for hire, log shed build, uh, starter foundations, roomy shack build, port shack build, and starter shacks furniture. Upgrade village right there to level two. That's awesome. So if I go ahead and eat some of these, I can at least get my hunger back. I can get some health back too. A little bit more. There we go. And then I can talk to you. Always a pleasure. You're really making this village look good. And it might even attract cool new friends. I wish we had some beds. Beds are good to a spot to wake up, especially after sleeping. And if you make a few of them, you can invite a friend to stay in your village. Okay, so yeah, that's definitely something I wanna work on. So if we take a look over here, we have builds like this log lookout, the uh, double shack. But I guess first things first is we should build a bed. Furniture. Beds. Okay, so use to reset your spawn point and to recover health. Assign to new friends in order to recruit. So I need a little bit more wood for that. So back out we go. I do see some wood on the floor here. So I guess you know, you know, the resources will sort of respawn as we continue through the game. I guess I can destroy these bushes. I didn't see the spider over here. Can you get out of here? Boom, gotcha. We're getting more silk from it, so that's at least good. I definitely need more wood. So if we get rid of these bushes, it should be a decent source of it, but I should mostly focus on the trees over here. This is really cool so far. I'm definitely enjoying the game. There's just seemingly a lot to do. So I figure we'll spend a lot of time here just sort of building up our base resources and seeing where the adventure takes us in the upcoming episodes, for sure. Oh, we can just push the log too? Wow, that's neat. So yeah, I know the game's been out for a couple of days. Unfortunately, I wasn't home when the game first released and I apologize for the wait, but thank you for everyone being patient. It's a busy time of year, I'm sure you guys know. <laughs> but I'm really happy to be trying this game out. And if you guys have any tips for me or anything you wanna see me do specifically, feel free to let me know. I definitely want to build up a fort here, maybe check out a building or two. Lots to do in this game. As far as I'm aware, all the costumes that you might have in Fortnite, or at least a good chunk of them, are available in Lego Fortnite, so maybe I could get a couple of costumes and showcase those as we go on our adventure. We'll have to wait and see. But for right now, I got all of those, and I want to run back in this direction, because that should be enough wood. Maybe I'll grab a couple of the easy things super fast. That should help. So I definitely want to build our own bed. It'll make a spawn point if we are gonna get knocked out by a giant monster. This would be a good thing to have, so I just want to put this, I guess, over here. I figured somewhere out of the potential rain. Seems good to me. So, whoa, assign to bed, me, my bed. Taking a nap. <laughs> there we go, are you looking sleepy too? You look like you're on a grand adventure. That bed is looking extra cozy right about now. Have you tried sleeping in it yet? We should ask a visitor to live at our village. There's strength in numbers. I mean, I guess I should ask you first, right? Plus, anyone who moves in might be willing to help us gather resources. 
Okay, very cool. So I might not build any more shacks for the time being, because like, is there any way I can, I don't know if I can just pick up things and move it, or if I have to break it and replace it. If I were to just do this, right? How long do I have to hit it for? Like maybe I should, oh, this is 15. There we go, so that breaks it, and then it's gone. So I can build it again. I think I get all the wood back, here's hoping. It took me 10 wood, so. So on the bed, my bed. Sorry, I'm doing it twice. I'm just trying to learn the different you know, basics of the game. So I probably don't need this one anymore. So I can go ahead and destroy this. I get all these pieces back, or at least a good chunk of them. Uh, I don't see anybody else here, but this is a good chance then to maybe build some more stuff. Uh, because we have a lot, we have surfaces. There's a, you could do a lot here. I wouldn't mind just building up a new shack. Maybe this time we should try something crazy, like the, uh, the double shack. That might be cool. To do that though, I need a little bit more wood, so I would like to use the rest of our durability just over here and get all that. I think that's enough for us to get the, this other shack figured out. So, boom, gonna put that there. We can start the build. These are really cool. So we need to get one, two. Uh, we need to get these shack corners right uh, over here. It gets a little tricky to actually get it where you think it might need it. Is it not there? I think it's here. There it is. Okay, get the wall here and here. Stage two out of seven complete. It's very involved process. So these are the corners, so I need to get it over that way, over this way, and then two more walls. Okay, this is like the opening of the door. Pretty simple door, more of a doorway than it is a door. Not anything to like open up. Got it, okay, so now we just need to do like the roof and stuff. So if I go up here. Got this part now. This is pretty cool. Now that I'm getting more used to it, it's actually pretty fun to build this stuff up. There we go. Five out of seven complete. There's still more things to do. There's the shack ridge part. Where does this even go? I guess up there. Got it. Is there a way I can climb up this? For that make it easier to figure out, because I can't reach the rest of that. Was that all I needed to do there? I guess so. And that part's complete. Now we just have another little ridge part there. Okay, we built it. Double shock build complete. That was really fun. Um, I was thinking I could do more. I think that was just because the build wasn't technically over. There we go. So I might wanna knock down another tree, but before I do that, I might have to, I don't have enough. I, that was all of my wood. So I definitely need to just go out here, try to knock down maybe a thinner tree or a bush or something. And I'm also really hungry, so I need to eat a food before we start taking hunger dam damage. There we go. I'm just gonna fill the hunger all the way, even though that might be a little bit of a waste. If I could just get it halfway, that's good enough for now. Just until I can build a grill. There's so much to do here at the very beginning of the game. All right, grab all of that then for sure. I'll pick this up. I'll grab some of this other material. Luckily, picking things up, at least like singular objects on the floor, is pretty fast. So I don't have to waste much time. Oh, there's some more wood. That should be enough for us to get another wood cutting ax. So I will run all the way back over here as soon as I can. Got it. And oh, hey, we do have a new villager friend, Sunflower. Hey there, I'm Sunflower. You can find me out in the fields. Nice to meet you. This place is a little new to me, so it's nice to meet a friendly face. I like sleeping around trees, but sometimes I'm afraid one will fall on me. I think I'll stay at your village tonight. Okay, that's great. So if we can build a bed in time, I should be able to invite you to stay, right? That'd be perfect. So forest axe, craft this one. There we go. Um, and then just go, go, go. Try to get some more trees knocked down, especially before the sun falls and the monsters start crawling back out. That's gonna be a little tough for us, right? So I just wanna get everything I can built. And boom, got that, and then we gotta get over here. All right. Pick up all of this. Almost, there we go. <laughs> that was a lot of wood, so we should be fine with that. We got all these sheep frolic around too, they're so cute. So I definitely wanna get you to be able to stay here, so I think I'll make more beds in here, right? I thought that'd be the best idea. Do I have enough to do that though? is the question. We need to go to furniture, beds. I do have enough wood, so 
I'll get one more bed there and ask you to stay there. Uh, greetings from the island. I've been battling brutes forever. I wish I could settle down in a nice village somewhere. Um, so how can this explorer help? Uh, live in my village. It sure would be nice to stay somewhere new. Do you have a spot for me to sleep? Yes. I've been hoping for a uh, bed of my own. Thanks. There you go. That's awesome. A new friend has joined us. I'm so excited. Make sure to talk to them if you haven't already. I bet they would run a workstation in the village or follow you on an adventure. If we want to attract someone like Meows, Meows, Meowskulls? Meowskulls? I guess like a muscular cat? We will need a lots of furniture for him to sit on. That cat loves to lounge. Meowskulls. All right, so let's see what you can do then as our little friend here, Sunflower. Shh, don't tell anyone I don't have a job. No storm can keep me down. What can I do to help? Uh, let's talk jobs. Sure thing. Do you need, need me for something? Uh, help the village. I currently have no job. I would love to help with something. Resource jobs. Ooh, got anything for me? You can refine wood, collect nearby resources, something else, or actually never mind. Let's do collect nearby resources. So you can go ahead and collect all the wood and ground it for me so I can work on bigger things. Ooh, I'd be happy to explore nearby biomes and find resources we can recycle into new stuff. Just make sure I have a crafting bench to craft my tools at. I'll head out and explore while you're away. It will take me about one day of exploration to find something useful. Okay, so you're gonna head out and do your job. That's awesome. Maybe not now, it's about to become nighttime. A little dangerous out there, but I don't see anything else we need to build at the moment. I can work on some other cool things. Our utilities are mostly what I'm focused on. The lumber mill needs five more granite to get a total of 15. So if I can just run out and find a rock somewhere, which right now I'm not actually seeing too many, I'll try to run out before it becomes nighttime and we gotta be able to find something somewhere, right? Maybe over there? I wouldn't mind running out a little bit farther. I've kept it pretty close to home, if not anything else, because I'm a little scared of what could be out here in this world. But I do see a rock over in this direction and a new type of plant. I don't know what this is. We're entering the frostland where we get really cold. And we have snowberries. So I think we run slower. Snowberry shake, epic consumable, whoa. Very cool. So we just get new recipes as we're, uh... here we go, there we go. As we are, um finding new things. We just get new recipes like that, which is awesome. We are definitely cold. I wonder how I can stay warm in these areas. Will we have to get new gear? Will we have to eat certain foods that maybe will keep us warm? I'm not quite sure at the moment, but I do think that, you know, if we do this, this will help us stay warm, right? Maybe it won't. Uh, okay, it's almost nighttime now too, so I know I didn't get a ton of granite, but I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get this one and then run back home, because oh, I'm freezing, so I'm actively taking damage. I need to run back this way as fast as possible. Pull out my torch, maybe that'll help keep me warm. I might die, oh no, oh no, run, run. Okay, we're hungry, but we're not freezing, so that's good. I'll go ahead and eat a uh, normal berry. Can I do that while I'm running? I can't, there we go. That should be enough for us to create something where I can cook food that would be a lot more potent for both refilling our hunger and our health. Oh no, hey, hey, leave me alone, what do you want? Boom, get out of here, hitting you with the ax. Come on, one more hit. Boom, I gotcha, and you dropped a bone. Not bad. Are you okay? Always a pleasure. A new friend has joined us, I'm so excited. Make sure to talk to them if you haven't already. Okay, I have. What's wrong? I'll never look good in chaps. It's hard to, to be fl feeling fresh grass beneath your feet. I'm so tired of islands, do you need something? Uh, How's your job? I just started working. Check back in later and I'll have made more progress. Okay, I thought they would have something to say because of the way they ran up to me, but I guess not. Anyways, we're safe here. If I go ahead and build, I can put together the grill, right? I still don't have enough granite. I can't believe it. Okay, it looks like there might be some on the floor here that I missed before. So I can definitely get this. That's not granite, Never mind. Sort of looks like it from the distance. This area doesn't look so cold. So some skeletons will pop up, of course, but will they stay away from my fire? They won't. So, no, I didn't mean to throw it. I mean, I guess it keeps things visible. Here, eat some food. Uh, be careful, ow. No, 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 oh no! I gotta get used to combat. Let's get back up. Return to your, your backpack to retrieve your lost items. Backpacks are marked on the map. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna run over there as fast as I can, grab my stuff, get some granite, but then I wanna try resting in the bed to see if maybe I can just hop back into daytime. That'd be great. So I gotta be careful here. All my stuff is on the floor. I'm able to get all of it right away and then go back to fighting you guys, right? That's good. 
I just need to be careful. Is there like a roll button? Oh, there is a roll. Whoa, that changes up everything. I mean, I'm still not doing very well, but I'm doing better. There we go, awesome. Do I get a bone for that? I don't know. Um, But I want to go to my inventory and pull out my axe again. I, I used up all my pickaxe here, which is actually the worst possible timing. I don't know why I did that, because now I can't, <laughs> now I can't get this rock that I ran out to for the whole idea of being out here. Grab this torch if I can, and then fight you. So now that I know I can roll, uh, it, it definitely still gotta be careful. Hmm, okay. Let me just run back with, with, with the stuff I have. If I find some extra granite on the floor, like this, definitely take that. Whoa, there's a spider underneath that one. Spooky. I do see a couple more out this way. So hopefully that's enough for us just to build a little grill so I can cook up our food and stay better on hunger, which I guess because I died, our hunger was refilled. So that's at least nice. So there were some benefits to get from all that. I'll get over here, grab this one. And then I wanna run home as soon as I can. So luckily we can still roll. That seems a little bit faster than walking. Uh, let's see, grill. Turn raw ingredients into food used for healing and reducing hunger. That's perfect, so I will do that maybe in here. Maybe I won't, maybe I'll set it up in here. Just so that like I don't know what other things we can't use in the rain, and I don't wanna risk that. So three item recipes, we got grilled meat, we got all sorts of stuff. So we got grilled meat, eat to heal and reduce hunger. At least it's not raw. We have the corn on the cob, eat to heal and reduce hunger, fresh corn straight from the stock, um, fried egg, just don't burn it. Okay, so we don't have any eggs for that one, but for the grilled meat, I can go ahead and assign this recipe, and then, how do I cook it? I don't know. Uh, oh, I just have to press plus right there. So, it's sort of cooking while uh, we can set up some other things, so I could change the recipe, gotcha. So I can only cook one thing at a time. But this one gives me plus eight on the hunger scale. This gives me plus two, I guess, extra sprint energy or something. Okay, so let's take that food, then I can assign to this recipe. I don't have the corn for that is the thing. Gotcha, I sort of understand now. So if we take a look at our different recipes, we have a lot of stuff we could build, pretty cool. Some of it just seems to be like furniture, but some of it could just be useful. Oh, the chest would be really nice. I need planks for that, but how do I make planks? Probably with the sawmill. Okay, so if I go back over here, we have utilities like the sawmill, the lumber mill, builds objects like planks and rods used for crafting. That's awesome, actually. So yeah, the one thing I wanted to do, if we rest in our bed, will we wake up during nighttime? We won't, but at least we'll heal up. Or actually, maybe we do. Was that just a coincidence or what? I'm not sure. So it looks like you're crafting stuff. There are pl plenty of trees around here. They're an excellent source of wood. Um, I'm here to chat. I love dogs as much as the next person, but these bone wolves are out of control. They definitely are. So I wanna try finding some of those soon enough, but I think we'll only play for a few more minutes today and then we will uh head out for now. But this has been a ton of fun. We're building our our village here pretty darn well. We're adding more things to it. I definitely need a lot of wood today, so I'll get to this, I'll knock this one over. And almost there, got it. And over this way, it looks like we have even more stuff, so I'll definitely want to get some of this. All right, and get the stuff too, as well as the log. And that should be a lot of wood for us. I think that's enough for Lots of crafting. Hopefully soon we can try to find a recipe for um, getting a better ax somehow. Cause this one definitely wears out pretty fast. It's worth it for sure so that we can knock out trees, but still a little bit slow. Oh, hi. Always a pleasure. A grill was a great idea. Just think of all the tasty things we can cook. Hmm, we've got our basics of food, shelter, and warmth covered. What do you think we should do next? Improve the base, improve tools, find food, uh, improve tools. If we upgraded the crafting bench, we might be able to make better tools. A stronger tool will last longer and break even more things. But I need planks. Whenever I'm stuck, I use my imagination to figure it out like this. Planks are made of wood, which means we need a way to do special crafting with wood, which means we need a workstation that we can cut wood with. A mill lumberer? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> All right, I bet you can figure it out. I think we can. Thank you for guiding us towards the answer though. For this one, we still need more of the 
rocks. And I do see a ton of rocks out here. So I think we'll finish things off with getting this nice and built. I wanna run out to these buildings next time around and really see what they're offering. There's gotta be some cool things in there. But if I could just run off over here and find a rock to destroy, this one might be in that little cold biome because it has those berries again. But maybe I can just, oh, I don't have an ax or a pickaxe. I'm so silly. Okay, never mind. I'll just pick up these. Totally forgot to build that. So I have to grab all this. There we go. I do see a little bit more over here next to all these little chickens. Will the chickens drop eggs then? I haven't seen them do it, but, oh, I can pet you. Wait, wait, let me pet you, let me pet you. Oh, good chicken, so cute. I wonder if I keep petting you. Yeah, I get eggs. I got one egg from it. Thank you so much. There we go. <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys are happy. Oh, it's so cute, I love it. All right, so a couple things I wanna do here then. Oh, they're sort of getting a little upset. I wanna go ahead and get our grilled meat and get it maybe here. Is this like our food slot? I'm not quite sure. I don't know why that one has like a little line in between it right here. Uh, but I think it's so that we can eat while we're still doing things. That's pretty cool. So I can refill my hunger with this super well. It just takes a moment to eat, but that fills it up all of the way. So maybe if I'm really suffering, I can take out a chicken, but it also gives me plus two extra hearts. Whoa. I feel like it's almost sort of like Breath of the Wild in a way too, or just, you know, Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, yours in the crafting bench. Do you mind if we share? I wanna get another ax, because this one's almost done, and then another pickaxe. And then let's see what we need in terms of materials to craft the, uh, oh, what is this? This is a, uh, okay, that's just like Fortnite stuff. We're just going to try to build this sawmill. I need a little bit more in terms of the granite. So I think that'll be our last adventure for today. We run over here, we're gonna get some granite, and then I will use that to craft the sawmill. There's cows too, can I pet the cows? I sure hope so, hi. I can, so cute. They're so happy to get us milk. All right, well, you're so good. It comes in the carton and everything. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. There we go, there's another milk. So I could definitely use that for crafting some way somehow. Make some more recipes. We have eggs, we have milk, we basically have the whole breakfast combo already. We have some fruit to go along with it. Starting the day off right. Okay, let's get over here and knock out some of these rocks as well. This one's huge. All right, keep going. So, that's a lot more granite. I think it's enough that I can rush back over here and get stuff built. But we have this really nice little town now. This is awesome. And hopefully more people show up soon so that we can recruit them. I think to do that, we should probably upgrade more things before they show up, hopefully. But lumber mill coming in. I think I will just keep the lumber mill outside for now. I don't know. I mean, I could just rotate it like this. Just make sure it's, you know, there's some space in here for both things like that. And then I could build some more beds on that side. This bed is already cleaned. As you can see, it's Sunflower's bed. She has her backpack on there. Um, so we have wooden rods. So yeah, there's some new recipes here in the lumber mill. We have planks and wooden rods, starting with the plank used for crafting or used for crafting crafting building materials and weapons carved from wood, an essential crafting item. We also have wooden rods. Um, used for crafting building materials and weapons, cut from wood, and essential crafting items. So they're both sort of the same. Uh, but for this one, I guess it's just different materials might need different things. So I'm gonna assign this a recipe. Uh, and then same thing as we did with uh, the cooking from the grill, we put ingredients in there. I can go ahead and put some more in there, and that'll make some more planks. Interesting. So I can take the one plank it's making, it'll make more stuff over time. I do have enough to make some some eggs, so I'll do that, awesome. It can only make one scrambled egg with two eggs though, gotcha. Oh, and it looks like we're good to upgrade. So, yeah, lots of really good stuff going on here. If we take a look, I should be able to build a chest now, right? I thought like that was the big thing I was chasing. Builds, building parts, furniture, storage. Small chest would require six planks. So I don't know if I'll quite get there right now, or up to four, so maybe take all those, Got it, okay, so that seems pretty good. If I take a look, we got a new thing in the, the, the spinning wheel, but I wanna build this chest, and I wanna put the chest maybe just right over here. Got it, and then I can put stuff in there. That's amazing, so 
deposit stack. Yeah, I can just put a bunch of stuff in, which makes it a whole lot easier to organize. Why aren't these? Oh, I guess a stack is like a maximum of six. Interesting. I'll keep that there. We'll put some more food in there. I'll have to organize this more. Maybe at some point I can upgrade that and have it hold more. We'll have to wait and see. This seems like there's tons of questions to answer, including what we'll get for our next village upgrade, which we'll find out in the next episode of Lego Fortnite. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.